the uplands of Sleep Bloom have for a long time been a backwater, famous for being at the crossroads of Ireland and for containing the longest stretch of blanket bog in Europe. Not something that would get you into the guidebooks. Until now, that is. Local initiatives could transform this area into a model for local communities throughout Europe, all looking to attract a rare and precious breed, the ecotourist. Ecotourism is tourism with a special interest in the ecology of a place, or with the heritage of the place, the environmental heritage of the place, basically. And the kind of people who tend to be ecotourists are people with a, a sense of interest in environmental heritage, and also with a heightened sense of, of environmental awareness and environmental issues so that ecotourism projects uh, are often characterised by a, a much higher level of environmental responsibility or sustainability, if you like. Sleeve Bloom is an island, basically. It's an island in the middle of Ireland which has managed to retain a tremendous amount of its natural character, its cultural heritage, etc. So that it's a sort of an oasis to which people from a very wide area would naturally gravitate if they have an interest in environmental heritage because it has managed to keep so much, basically. The ecotourists may be, uh, I suppose, they're a bit more difficult to cater for than the normal tourist because they expect a certain standard. Whether it be in recycling or the way you uh, build your house or the type of transport. But all of those things will help us in our environment, give us a better environment to live in, as well as making the area uh, creating a more sustainable product. I think tourism took off very fast in Ireland um, a number of years ago without people actually planning it. Planning it. We have a chance to plan it now in a, in a way that we want to, to go. It's going to take time to do this, but it will be both benefit us economically and the environment that we live in.